everybody, I'm John Carl Caltabiano. Felicia is off for the day. She's sick, so get well soon, Felicia. Uh, today we'll be reviewing Emotet, Builder of Egypt. Uh, this is a fantastic game. We really, really like this game. So uh, check out what's to follow and uh, hopefully you'll like it as well. Players take on the role of Egyptian master builders in Emotep. Be the one with the most points by the end of the 6th round and you'll win. The game's been set and for this review we'll use the A side from these double sided boards. First player starts with less cubes on their sleigh and we go clockwork from here. Round card has one taken out randomly and the one you flip over will tell you the boats available for this round. On the active player's turn, she'll have to choose one option from four. Get three new stones of her player color or the maximum your sleigh can handle from the quarry. Place a stone on a ship on any available space, play a blue market card should she have one, or sail a ship. To do the last option, at least this many stones must be on the ship and it does not necessarily need to have one of your stones on it. When you take this action, you'll sail it to any location that does not already have a ship there. Then from front to back, the owner will place their cube, one at a time, onto that location. In the market, simply return the stone to the quarry and grab a card. Blues can be used as one action. Greens are end game bonus scoring. Purples are part of set collection. And red happens immediately. The pyramid will have you place the stone on the highest available space on the leftmost column. Placing a stone here immediately gives you the listed VPs. Second level VPs are listed here and the last stone placed is worth 4 VPs. The temple will have you place stones from left to right. When the last space is filled, the next stone goes on top from left to right again. At the end of the round, each stone visible from above scores 1 VP. The burial chamber will have you place stones like the pyramid. These will score only at the end game. Each connected stones you have will score as shown on this table. Lastly, the obelisk will have you stack stones of your color. The highest obelisk scores at the end game the highest points as denoted by the number of players. Second highest scores the second, and so on. When the last ship is sent, continue unloading the stones there, and then we count points for the temple. Flip over the next round card to see which boats are placed, remove any market cards not taken, and replace them, and the player to the left of the one that sent the ship last begins. At the end of the sixth round, Count all the points, the one with the most wins. You can also play with the Wrath of the Pharaoh variant that should a player not have a stone in all locations, they lose 5 VP at the end game. Emotep is a fantastic game. Once again, Cosmos delivers in a big way. I love when a game is simple yet is deep enough with tactics and long term strategy that is accessible to all gamers. The double-sided boards have different scoring system and little variants assure excellent replay value. Components are big and sturdy, but I do wish the artwork was a little more varied, especially for the statues. Gameplay is smooth and quick, making it a perfect for filler or having multiple games of it. Luck is kept to a minimum and the player interaction is solid. I believe everyone should own a copy of Imhotep as it's perfect for anyone. It gets a huge 9 out of 10. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.